Yo, what's up guys? This is Kray and today we are waiting for a siege battle to start. Let's see who's our opponents for today. Come on. Candy House and Beer Club. Alright, so this is gonna be a pretty tough one. Candy House at rank 3, we are at rank 4. And Beer Club is at number 7 with 9, 6 and 1. Taking a look at the defenses here, nothing is changing for Net Force. Kiara, Lima, and Tianlang. Interesting defense. Very flashy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of LDs coming off from Candy House. Beer Club is running Driller instead for their Net Force. Pretty nice. Mixture of LDs here on the 9s and 10s as well. We'll be able to start our first fight of the day up against this Kakano Nigong and the Wata Avor slash Brita. So we'll be using Laika as our fire tank, running Tiomars as our main damage dealer, fitting in Lulu as well for the immunity and big heals. Alright, just need to make sure that your Lulu has 100% resistance. Just in case, for some odd reason, they aim your water units. Alright. So this one we are in a pickle, but I'll work on to the Brita first. I think that is the plan. We try to kill her off twice, alright? Yo, I swear to god, Kakano has this... ...inbuilt proc. <laughs> Every time he hit into the hidden aim again. So annoying. Come on, man. Alright. Brita dies towards the dot. Heavenly protection is up right now. We can work on to her again. Uh, no skills yet, but I think it's fine. Yeah, we remove this water unit off, and we can start working on to the Kakano. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, we have to go for the immunity again. Okay. Yeah, we work on to the Kakano here. Hmm. You know what? We're just normal attack. Crit! Come on, Kakano. I feel like at this point we need to deal with another round of the Heavenly Protection coming up from this stupid light unit. But I think we should be in a very good spot because with the revive, they are only at like 30% health, right? Okay, we can kill all those again. We finish off the Kakano with the Justice. Come on, Theomars, can you land your armor break? We should be able to move here. Come on. Oh, nice proc. <laughs> okay, this is a lot easier right now. Although we need to bring down the Nigong so protection here, but it has very low HP as long as there's no heals, alright? Perfect. This one's in the bag. Now we'll be facing the usual Sylvia kind of defenses that we're seeing very often, together with the Cichlid and Tessarion. So Jean, Leo, Helena works very well against this kind of lineup where our Leo shouldn't die towards the Tessarion so quickly, I hope. Oh no, Oblivion landed, very nice. And we can always just go for the Swaying Flame, try to land our armor breaks onto 2 with all these controls as well. We don't need to cleanse our Leo just yet, alright? We'll just punch this Sylvia's face, nice stun onto her as well. Try to finish her off. I don't want to deal with that stupid unit. The passive is so nice. Yeah, Sylvia is always a very good uh, siege slash guild battle defense unit. I'm not sure for offense because I've never tested it out. <laughs> but I'm always a little bit afraid when it comes to fighting Sylvia's. I think for this one, we can be going in with the Dominic Halfas and Riley because honestly speaking, the damage output coming out from them is not really the best. And hopefully the Sylvia pairs the Kinky up to attack our Halfas as well. So Armor Break landed onto him. Yeah, the Water Avor has to hit the Halfas the whole time. And Kinky's damage isn't really that high as well. So I don't mind it. Uh, invincibility buff every single time. <laughs> Come on, let's kill off this Sylvia quickly. 
And then probably we can work on to the kinky after that. We'll see whether we want to go greedy. Ooh. Yep, zero damage. Yeah, the kinky is not doing enough onto our Dominic as well. This should kill off the Sylvia. And can we get some stuns? Nope. Unfortunate. We'll try to one-shot this kinky here. That's a lot of damage. Come on. We just need one more hit from Dom to bring down this kinky. Yep, we'll stack the immunity as well over here. Righty, I don't I don't need you to move so many times. I need the Dominic instead. <laughs> okay, please. Alright, perfect. There we go. And there's nothing the Brita can do. Now we'll be able to face a pretty interesting defense. The Celia, Cadiz, and Kakano. Kind of calls for the double bomber comp. We got Fran, 100% resistance as well. I just need to pray that they don't strip. Come on. Okay, we can go for the attack buff. Nice. Can we land our bombs? Perfect. Oh, we missed one onto the Cadiz, but I think we should be still in a good spot. Yeah, one bomb. Usually Cadiz is very tanky. However, already last hit. No problem. Celia here is gonna take around like 75k damage as well from the bomb. Beer Club actually changed their net force towards the Martina Shina with the Miang. So this one, I think Ager, Alusia kinda makes sense. We can sleep one unit. In a way, we got 3 lives unless they aim the Huadem off on first turn. It could happen, but we got damage reduction from Dark 24%, right? We should be rather tanky. But of course, if they proc like this, how? Bro... I want to heal, but I feel like we have to sleep this Martina as well. No choice. Come on, strip. Strip pushback. Okay. Oh, but that's not enough. No stun, bro. Why everything keep procking on their side? God damn it. I also got violent, you know? Huh, can we freeze? Okay, nice. Do we have a chance to win? <sighs> okay, we gotta sleep this Miang. No choice, the attack bar is already full. 3v1 against Aegir. <laughs> I am not liking my odds. I am really not liking my odds here. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. We shift our focus towards the Miang. Come on. Wow. Please, 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 can we win? Oh, so close! Wait! <laughs> wow, down to the wire, man, this one. Oh yeah, we finally got chance to hit a Danu defense, and I'm definitely gonna be bringing in the Jotan Raccoonie and the Windy. So this team, so far 100% win rate against the Danu slash Driller kind of comps. I'm always gonna be bringing it in against it. I'm pretty confident with my rune sets that I have for this lineup as well. Because my Jotan, very tanky, 100% rest as well, removing one of the RNG that can potentially happen. In terms of the strip armor break coming out from the Cichlid. And also maybe in the future, because Cichlid only strips one buff after the balance patch as well. So you could also just run like shield onto the Windy I guess. Or Jotan having a shield set will be nice as well. So I think it's gonna be a lot easier to deal against this kind of lineup. Yeah, as you can see, the Danu just killed himself. Our Jotan still so tanky. And from here, we just need to land the armor break and wait for our Windy to do the big damage output. I think this should kill. Yep, there we go. Left this Miang all alone. We'll just boost up our Windy here. What's the damage? Around like 6k per crit. <laughs> Yeah, with the heal block, the Miang is not gonna heal up, and we should be able to move on to the next round.
Earlier we fought the Danu, this time we have to fight the Vitra. So I'll be running the Tractor, Tetra and Windy over here and try to remove the Dark Asura first. I think that is the plan because he's gonna be so annoying with the counters and stuff. Oh my god. Did I... Did I make a misplay here? I shouldn't use my Tetra to hit! Bro! <laughs> Oh, I almost fucked myself. Okay. Can we sustain our Tetra, please? I don't like that. Okay, I need to remember not to use Tetra to hit this uh, Vitra, you know? Whew, that was a very close call. But I don't like this armor breaks as well. Provoke! Thank you. Slow it. Nice. Come on. We can't cleanse just yet. Shit. This ain't good. Come on, man. Can I get more procs, please? Yeah, I think every time Windy has the buff, I have to use it. The speed buff makes it so that we should be able to turn cycle pretty quickly. However, this stupid mermaid keep on resetting my Tetra. That's not good, though. And luckily, this AI coming up from the Miang is also pretty dumb. <laughs> I think at this point, she already has that second skill. It's just that she's not using it. No complaints. No complaints. Yes, just go for the heal. Thank you. Alright. Tractor, can you kill? Can you proc? For once. Thanks. Nice stun. We should be able to finish off the Vitra. Perfect. Whew. That was a very close call at the start. That misclick. Not really misclick, it's just that I didn't think it through properly. <laughs> Too overconfident sometimes when I feel like I'm bringing in a very safe lineup. And then we almost get cucked in the ass. Alright, so nice stun onto the Miang here. Continue working onto her. Windy's damage is just very consistent at the end of the day. Especially with the crit rate buff. You can reduce the crit rate on your unit. Just focus on more of the stats. And with the speed buff as well, you'll be able to turn cycle if not uh, at least having the same speed tick as the opponent. Alright, so yeah, from here we just press the auto. I recall I fought this one before. We used the Amber, Rika, and Fadam. Seems very safe, right? Because we got heal block, we got slow, we got stuns, we got dots. To basically finish off the opponent's, uh, to end the opponent's misery, right? <laughs> Come on. So over here goes for this. For them, should be able to sustain the strip into stun. And also all of the ignore defense, bro. What? Okay. Uh, can we stun here? Bro, that's not enough, man. Yo, this dark thing is some violin. Bro. If I knew it was violin, I should just mirinate Lucian this bullshit. Yeah. Who runs this dark cigarette as violin, man? Usually just swift. <laughs> Come on. If you're violin, I'm just gonna cleave it with Lucian next time. God damn it. Honestly, I'm not sure what kind of lineup this is. I don't know what it's gonna achieve on defense because from what I'm seeing here, the damage output is really low. Apart from the Miang's second skill, Laura doesn't really do too much in this context unless you have Naftis. Yeah, you can stun my whole team, I don't mind. But where is the damage? <laughs> yeah, we don't even need to transform just yet. We played safe on our Diana. Yeah, all this poke damage, no problem. We can just heal up back to full life and then we can start working onto something. Who deserves the kill? Miang. Yep, almost one-shotting it as well. Definitely dies here, but we'll try to stun the Laura. Alright. Didn't get the stun, but at least one of the damage dealers. Basically, the only one is removed and we can work on to the Zen right now. Yeah, we don't even need Elagio at this point. 
Seems like a wasted slot. <laughs> yeah, we can just fit in another wind damage dealer. Fingen? Yeah, Fingen Bruiser. Gonna be good here as well. So, Zen is deleted. And what can this Laura do? Literally nothing. We are down to our last and final sword, and I am very certain we should be able to outspeed this lineup, alright? So just gonna go for the Gemini, Kabila, and the Isabel. We snipe off this Zeratu's face first. That's the most important. However, can we land the armor break though? Okay. <laughs> alright, perfect. Uh, let's just endless death this Zen, confirm kill anyways. Remove the Zeratu as well. And once we land this armor break here onto the Miang, we do have the Endless Death to finish off this Miang. And for this one, we did get 9 wins out of 10. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 256 crystals followed by 510 guild points. We'll be able to head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So Candy House winning this one followed by us as second. Beer Club coming in third. Alright, we should be able to open up the rubbish box as well. No more shiny left, so pretty sad. Haven't seen that one for a very long time. Oh my god. This box. Can we get quad speed though? God damn it. <laughs> Literally rubbish. Okay, yeah, we'll just sell all the runes. And that's gonna be it for this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to like it. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hopefully, we should be able to reach 20,000 subscribers real soon. We just hit 17, so that's a great milestone. Hopefully, by quarter two of this year, we should see 20, I pray. Yep, alright. That's gonna be it for this one. Take care, stay safe, my friends, and I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace out.